Hello friends, this video tutorial will show you how to use JSF Framework and JDBC API to retrieve and store data into a relational database from a Java application. JSF stands for Java Server Faces. It's a Java framework that has been formalized as part of Java Platform Enterprise Division that can be used to build web application based on MVC pattern. This framework simplifies construction of the user interface of web applications by providing reusable user interface components as XML tags. The Faces servlet has the role of a controller in the JSF framework. This is a Java servlet which runs into the web container. It uses the facesconfig.xml file uh, where uh, is uh, stored the configuration of the whole JSF framework. The JSF use or facelets are uh, dynamic web pages of JSF, evolution of JSP pages. Uh, they correspond to uh, XHTML files uh, that contain the tags of a user interface uh, of a JSF. From within a facelet, it is possible to access to um, properties and uh, methods of uh, so-called uh, managed beans, which are uh, classes, uh, Java, uh, Java classes that can be managed by JSF. The managed beans uh, uh, store the form data of the views, and uh, they correspond to the model in the MVC pattern of JSF. JDBC stands for Java Database Connectivity. It's a Java API uh, that uh, allows to uh, connect to a database and to uh, execute a crude operation on it from a Java application. A Java application uh, can uh, use JDBC API uh, by importing uh, java.sql.asterisk package. At the lower level, the JDBC API uh, uses uh, uh, JDBC driver specific of the database uh, that the application want to connect to. So each kind of database, Oracle, PostgreSQL, Derby, and so on, has uh, its specific uh, JDBC driver, and uh, um, that is a jar file uh, that uh, we have to import into our Java project or into our application server if we are, we are using a connection tool to access to the database. In this video we will see how to implement select, insert, delete and update queries on Java objects of employee class using JSF user interface and the JDBC API. This is what we will see about JSF how to configure a JSF project, how to build uh, views based on JSF templates, then uh, manage beans, one manage bean for each view in, the, in our application, then manage properties, there is a way to access to a manage bean from within another manage bean, JSF navigation, that are mechanisms to uh, jump from a view to another view, then some uh, tags of uh, uh, user interface components of JSF, validators that are uh, tags to validate the data that uh, a user um, insert into a view, converters to change the format that uh, data are, um, uh, are showed uh, to the user and then uh, system elements. In particular, we will see how to create listeners and methods to initialize the, 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 the match beans when uh, the application starts or where, when uh, a view is loaded. About JDBC, we will see the JDBC lifecycle during the database access from connection to the execution of queries on database and uh, then uh, that we will see the difference uh, between uh, normal statements that, that we will use uh, for uh, create table and select query 
and uh, the prepare statement uh, that we will use for insert plate and update uh, query on the database. We will use Eclipse as an ID, Maven to build the project, then uh, Apache Tomcat as a web container, and the database uh, Apache Derby stored on my file system. Okay, let's create the, the Eclipse project. File new, dynamic web project. demo. We have to create a new runtime, Apache Tomcat, and uh, we can select uh, to create a new local server. Okay, now let's select the Tomcat folder on, uh, on the file system. Let's select this is uh, the JRI. Uh, okay. Now we have to configure the project for uh, JSF. So uh, let's modify the configuration here and uh, select uh, Java server faces um, the, in the project facets, fa facets of uh, Eclipse. Uh, version 2.2 .2. ok generate web.xml file ok disable this uh, library here we can see the uh, JSF configuration that uh, Eclipse uh, is going to do uh, with the Configuration of the, the creation of the uh, facets, uh, facets uh, uh, config XML file, the configuration configuration file of JSF, and with the configuration of the file facets servlet in the web.xml file. Okay, let's see the structure of the project. We can see. Uh, in uh, the uh, web content web uh, inf uh, folder the faces uh, config.xml file okay and uh, in the web.xml the configuration of the servlet the jsf sf servlet this one faces servlet Now we have to convert the project into a Maven project. So convert to Maven. Okay. Okay. Okay, we have the pom.xml file. That uh, uh, has no uh, dependencies uh, at the moment. So we can uh, copy and paste the dependencies. Uh, uh, from a, a file that I prepared before that are uh, the uh, Apache Derby uh, database the database that we are going to use so the uh, JDBC driver for this database and the dependencies for JSF 2.2 version 2.2 so copy and paste here in the POM XML okay and upper and updated project
Now we want to create a connection to the database derby that we are going to use uh, using a data source explorer of uh, Eclipse. Uh, this is not necessary uh, for the project, for the Java application, but only to uh, manage the tables and the data of a uh, Derby database from within uh, Eclipse. So uh, the view data source exported is uh, uh, visible. So data bio connection new Derby. You can call connection Derby Derby. PSF demo, then drivers. You can use Derby embedded JDBC driver, and um, so um, it cannot uh, find the the jar file. It is the JDBC driver. So let's uh, uh, select it. Uh, on the file system, we can we can find it into the in the into the Eclipse uh, um, folder uh, because uh, it was uh, previously installed as plugin. So there be there be file. Okay, we can remove the first one. Okay. So the location uh, we want to create the database uh, here in the in the uh, Derby DB uh, folder of C drive. Okay, we can call it uh, so Derby DB slash backslash uh, JSF demo. Uh, user and PG. okay um, we we can leave the option create database so that uh, uh, Eclipse uh, create the, uh, a new database if uh, uh, it not exists as it is because here there's no uh, database uh, called uh, uh, JSF demo and um, save password okay Okay, so this is the new database with schemas, uh, the app schema that is a uh, one for uh, user tables and uh, other objects, and you can see that the, the, the tables folder is uh, empty at the moment. You can see now here that Eclipse uh, has created a new uh, folder corresponding to the new the, the Derby database. Okay, now we can start with the development of our uh, Java application and in the next video we will see how to create uh, our first uh, facelet, uh, first JSF uh, view based on a JSF template. Thank you for uh, your attention. Bye.